you much, Marissa. In tonight's continuing coverage, another round of talks between graduate teaching fellows at the University of Oregon on day seven of their strike. KZI 9 News reporter Chinu Hur joins us live from campus tonight after talking to both sides about how this could affect grades now that it is finals week. Chinu? Well, Matt and Renee, the GTS continued their march on campus today, carrying these signs and walking around in front of Johnson Hall, saying they are still on strike, but they chose to do it silently today, saying because of finals. Now, concerns have come up this week about how the strike could affect final grades and even financial aid, but administrators say they have a plan in place if they don't reach an agreement. The strikes at the University of Oregon have grown silent. This week we've kind of targeted our strategies for picketing to reflect the fact that a lot of undergrads are taking exams. Good luck with finals. But the GTFs are still sending a strong message to school administration. Our priorities are quality of education and quality of life for workers. Their priorities seem to be elsewhere at this point. With final exams underway and final grades to be submitted soon. GTFs and students are concerned about how the strike could impact grading and even financial aid. Originally, we had thought we were in agreement with the administration that the X would serve as a placeholder. So rather than an incomplete or an F or anything like that, just a placeholder. So but University of Oregon administrators say it will be taken care of and it won't have a negative impact on any students. So those that are graduation eligible will be able to wrap up their degrees. Financial aid can be secured going into the winter term and we don't anticipate that there will be any issues. Officials say they decided to have qualified school faculty give and grade finals after looking into other options. Uh, other options that were explored previously uh, were not going to be a, a viable option for us. GTF say those options included the X grade placeholders, as well as taking their final grade as of December 1st as their final grade. And while strikers and administrators are still on opposite ends in their talks, they're both looking out for students. Our main focus has been through this contingency planning process. How can we make sure that we meet the needs of our students? It's one of our main priorities and concerns in terms of how the administration is choosing to handle that. Now, both sides are in a meeting right now, and if they fail to reach an agreement tonight, they will meet again at the bargaining table tomorrow. Live in Eugene, Chinu Hurt, KZI 9 News.